Welcome in three time Olympic gold medalist Kristen Armstrong. Now tonight is the first time we will see athletes with local ties competing. And so I kind of want to get your insight on this because on Instagram, Jay in the newsroom was on Instagram watching a post from Jordan Andrade saying that he was eating pizza and I was blown away by that. It just it sounds so unhealthy right before your big race. So I was like, OK, Kristen, give us the insight. What what is food like at the athletes village? You know, I think when you're when you're serving thousands of athletes, you have to make it super bland. So it's not too spicy. It's not too salty. It's kind of just bland. I mean, think of like white chicken and white rice. I mean, think about that every day, day in and day out. But pizza? Well, then you throw in pizza and you can imagine, <laughs> okay, if you have lines and you're thinking, where am I going to go? And you have to compete. Yeah. And you're like, what is going to fuel me through? You're like, okay, I've had white rice and chicken for three weeks now. So I'm going to go right in for the grease. Like, you know, what, what's my physical ability is not going to change. So. Really and truly though, see, I would think, I don't know about you guys at home, but I would think that, you know, the Olympic Village would be full of just mm -hmm. all this very nutritious food for these world-class athletes. Not so much. Well, not so much because, you know, <laughs> McDonald's has been a long time sponsor Olympic Games and that was yeah. the longest line at the Coke. Olympic Village. And Coke. Yes. And so you wouldn't believe how long the line was. At McDonald's. Yes. No kidding. Yes. And so um, as an athlete, when I would travel because of how bland the food was, we used to actually travel with our spices and sauces. <laughs> because <laughs> don't we put sauce on everything? Americans do. We do. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I would do. So I am a big spice girl. Well, not really a spice girl. <laughs> But we're learning all kinds yeah, of things about I know, her. I know. You wouldn't even know what I do on the side. Um, so anyway, all my spices, even at my home now. Yeah. And even my son, you know, we put spice on everything because of all my travels and all the bland food that I've consumed. Jordan was also <laughs> saying Jordan Andrade competing tonight in track and field. He was also saying that he was doing some meditation, mm -hmm. some yoga before the big race. Did you ever do anything like that? You know, I think that every athlete has its, their own kind of pre race routine, we call it. And my pre race routine prior to going to bed the night before was to go through the time trial course three times. And normally about two and a half times I'd fall asleep. But I In would your always, mind you would go yeah, through it. Yes. I would um, visualize myself going around the corners and I'm sure that um, a track and field athlete, so such as the hurdles, you're going to go over envisioning yourself going over that hurdle in the form that you have over each hurdle, completing it. Because if you envision yourself doing this and competing in a certain way, then it's amazing how strong your mind is over your physical ability. I love this. I mean, she's like a life coach for me because she's telling us what these Olympians do. And I'm thinking I could apply that really to Absolutely. my everyday challenges in life. I mean, that sounds cheesy, but I totally could. No, I was just not, thinking yes. your way through it. Yeah, and I, I, I can't keep still or quiet for 30 minutes at a time. So meditation was very difficult for me. In yoga, I can't keep still. Yeah. However, um, envisioning and visualizing was a key component of my pre-race ritual. What about music? Did you have any favorite music or song you'd listen to before your big race to pump you up? You know, one of my favorite songs pumping me up was Beautiful Day by U2. Yes, I love that. And it was just because I believe that no matter what, if I put everything in to my performance, it was going to be a beautiful day. I love her. Don't you guys <laughs> love her?